Hello students, welcome you all to my channel once again. In this video, I am going to discuss few more MCQs that is multiple choice questions on carbonyl compounds. Watch the video till the end so that you can understand all the questions easily. Okay, so first question, which of the following does not turn Schiff's reagent to pink color. I am repeating once again. Which of the following does not turn Schiff's reagent to pink color? Kindly take a paper and pen. I am reading out the options. Before I give you the answer, you try to mark the answer. A. Formaldehyde B. Benzaldehyde C. 2. Butanone D. Acetaldehyde A. Formaldehyde B. Benzaldehyde C. 2. Butanone D. Acetaldehyde Here you can observe A, B and D are aldehydes whereas C is ketone. Therefore, the answer is ketone that is option C. So, this we have learned in the, in the methods to distinguish aldehydes and ketones. Okay, C is your answer. Second question, acetaldehyde on treatment with dilute NaOH followed by heating with dilute acid gives. Repeating once again, acetaldehyde on treatment with dilute NaOH followed by Heating with dilute acid gives the following compound. I am reading out the options. Write down the structures carefully. A. CH3, CH2, CH2, CHO. B. CH3, CH, double bond, CH, CHO. C. CH3, CH, double bond CH, CH2OH, D, CH3, CH2, CH2, CH2OH. So, which reaction is this? Acetaldehyde on treatment with a dilute base followed by protonation. Which reaction is this students? This is one of the important named reactions called as aldol condensation. There we have learned that aldehydes with alpha hydrogen condense with one another that is two molecules in the presence of a dilute alkali followed by protonation to give aldol. And taking the molecules of acetaldehyde there we obtained aldol or alpha comma beta unsaturated aldehyde. So, here B is the answer. Mark the right answer students. CH3, CH double bond, CH, CHO. This is alpha comma beta unsaturated aldehyde. This is also called as crotonaldehyde. Question number 3. On heating acetaldehyde with ammonical silver nitrate, we get options CH3OH, B. Silver acetate, C. HCHO and D. Silver mirror. Okay. So, ammonical silver nitrate is nothing but Tollens reagent. That is silver mirror test. This test is called as Tollens test or silver mirror test. So, when acetaldehyde is heated with Tollens reagent, what do we observe? We observe silver mirror depositing on the inner walls of the test tube. So, the answer is D, silver mirror. Fourth question, aldol condensation is given by options A, only aldehydes, B, only ketones, C, Aldehydes and ketones having alpha hydrogen atom D. None. 
so you know aldal condensation is given by aldehydes and ketones which possess alpha hydrogen atom so we all uh, know that alpha hydrogen is a very important one in aldol condensation so your right option is c that is aldehydes and ketones having alpha hydrogen atom fifth question the dnp reagent is options hydroxylamine phenyl hydrazine hydrazine 24 dinitro phenyl hydrazine so you all know dnp is it is 2 comma 4 dinitro phenyl hydrazine so the right answer for this is option d sixth question the compound which does not react with hydroxyl amine what is hydroxyl amine nh2 oh the question the compound which does not react with hydroxyl amine is options a ch3coh b ch3coch3 c ch3cho d hcho what do you observe here b c and d are one is ketone and other two are aldehydes what is a carboxylic acid so here a is carboxylic acid which does not react with hydroxyl amine okay so a is the right answer seventh question organic compounds a and b okay students there are two organic compounds a and b which react with sodium bisulfite so both the compounds a and b they react with sodium bisulfite that is nahco3 so among these two b reacts with tollens reagent but a cannot react with tollens reagent what are the compounds a and b so a and b both react with nahso3 b reacts with tollens reagent but a cannot react with or a does not react with tollens reagent so what are a and b a does not react options a r c double bond o r and r c h o b r c h o and r o r c r c o r and r o r d r c h o and r c o r okay so in a and d options we have one ketone and one aldehyde rest b and c they we have aldehyde and either c is ketone and either so b and c we cannot uh, choose between b and c coming to a and d we have ketone and aldehyde and also aldehyde and ketone okay so here a and b are reacting with nahco3 but b reacts with tollens reagent you all know that aldehydes respond to tollens reagent whereas ketones do not respond to tollens reagent okay hence your option a is the right answer so a is ketone and b is aldehyde okay mark a as the correct answer eighth question aldehydes and ketones give addition reaction with aldehydes and ketones give addition reaction with options hcn nahso3 both and none so we know that aldehydes and ketones react with hydrogen cyanide and sodium bisulfite as well so the option c is the correct answer mark c that is both hcn and nahco3 is the correct answer question number 9 reaction between two molecules of benzaldehyde and sodium hydroxide is known as options aldol condensation canizaros reaction perkins reaction and benzoin condensation two molecules of benzaldehyde so what comes into your mind when you look at this benzaldehyde it doesn't have alpha hydrogens 
So two molecules of benzaldehyde reacting in the presence of NaOH. Aldol condensation, no way. Perkins reaction, no way. Benzoin condensation, no way. So the right answer is Canizaro's reaction in which aldehydes and ketones do not require alpha hydrogen. So mark B as the right answer. Question number 10. Rochelle salt is options A. Sodium tartrate B. Ammonium tartrate C. Sodium potassium tartrate D. Potassium ammonium tartrate Where did we come across this Rochelle salt? This we have seen under Fehling's reagent. So Fehling's reagent is nothing but Fehling's A plus Fehling's B whereas here Fehling's B is sodium potassium tartrate which is called as Rochelle salt. So mark the correct answer as C that is sodium potassium tartrate. 11th question. The reaction of benzaldehyde with acetic anhydride in the presence of sodium acetate. Students, you should learn all the reactions and also named reactions. Then only it will be easy for you to know the correct answers for various questions. Simply without reading, without practicing all the reactions, if you uh, try to answer these questions, you cannot be, uh, you will not be able to answer the questions. Okay. So, this is also one of the named reactions. The reaction of benzaldehyde with acetic anhydride in the presence of sodium acetate is known as A. Perkin reaction, B. Claisen reaction, C. Aldol condensation, and D. Canizaro's reaction. Okay. So, the answer is Perkin reaction. So, option A is the correct answer. Question number 12. The structure of a 5 carbon atom aliphatic aldehyde that will undergo Canizaro's reaction is. Understand my question carefully. Structure of a 5 carbon atom aliphatic aldehyde which undergoes Canizaro's reaction. So, Canizaro's reaction, alpha hydrogen is not required. Okay. So, now you should choose the aliphatic aldehyde having 5 carbon atoms which can undergo Canizaro's reaction from the 4 options given below. Write down all the 4 options students. A. CH3, CH2, 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 CH2 CHO. B. CH3 taken twice. CH, CH2, CHO. C. CH3 taken thrice. C, CHO. And D. CH3, CH2, CH, CH3, CHO. Okay. So, A. All five carbons are in a straight chain. B. CH. It, the first carbon has two methyl groups on it. CH, CH2, CHO. Third one, first carbon has three methyl groups on it. CHO and D, CH3, CH2, CH. Above it, there is a methyl group, CH3, CHO. Okay. So, in all the uh, options A, B and D. If you write down on the paper, the adjacent carbon to carbonyl group. Carbonyl group means C double bond. Okay. So, the adjacent carbon to carbonyl carbon in all the three options A, B, D, they have alpha hydrogens. Whereas, option C, if you write down, write down the structure C, CHO, and C has three methyl groups. There is no alpha hydrogen. So, C is the right option. So, which can undergo Canizaro's reaction. Okay. Next, question number 13. Oxines are formed when aldehydes and ketones react with. So, when are oxines formed? 
when aldehydes and ketones react with which reagent options a hydrazine b ammonia c hydroxylamine and d semi carboxide so what is uh, hydrazine nh2 nh2 b is ammonia c is hydroxylamine and d semi carboxide did you get the answer students the answer is uh, option c that is nh2 oh so when aldehydes and ketones react with hydroxyl amine they produce oxynes question number 14 which of the following reaction is used for detecting the presence of carbonyl group a reaction with hydroxyl amine b reaction with hydrazine c reaction with phenyl hydrazine and d all the above so carbonyl group the compounds having carbonyl group that is aldehydes and ketones can react with hydroxylamine with hydrazine and also with phenyl hydrazine so your right answer is d that is all the above 15th question when acetal when acetaldehyde is heated with failing solution it gives a precipitate of a cu b cuo c cu2o and d cu plus cuo plus cu2o okay so you know that when acetaldehyde is treated with failing solution we get a red precipitate of cuprous oxide that means copper oxide will be reduced to cuprous oxide cu plus 2 will be reduced to cu plus 1 so what is the right answer students it is c cu 2o okay so this is all about 15 questions and the right answers so carefully first listen to the explanation then try to mark the answers before i give the right option okay thank you